Hello lovely people and welcome yet again to another tutorial. You're watching Wow Crochet and my name is Mary and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to decrease at the beginning and the end of each row. Now in a previous tutorial and when I mean previous I mean like just directly previous <laughs> um, I showed you how to increase. So I've used the same swatches to show you how to decrease. Okay not that that makes a difference to you guys but still <laughs> What I would like you to do, if you're not sure how to do a double crochet or chain, um, I do have previous tutorials on that. Go and check them out, have a practice and come back to us. And do a little swatch of say 10 or 12 or whatever you want, 15, doesn't matter, uh, double crochets across. Okay, and then we'll get started. For the purpose of this tutorial, however, I am using Clarketon Country 8 ply yarn. It calls for a size 4 millimeter hook. Today I am using a four and a half because, oh, a little bit blurry, sorry about that, because yours truly crochets extremely tightly. Okay, or extremely tight, I should say. Okay, so what I want you to do, for starters, let's blow this up a little bit so you can see, to uh, chain up three. So one, two, three. Now turn your work. I like to turn mine like I'm turning the page of a book, okay? But you can turn it any way you want, so long as you stay consistent. This will be classified as one double crochet, okay? So that one is actually on top of the previous double crochet, so you never need to put a double crochet in there unless you're increasing. But we are decreasing, okay? So normally we would put your normal double crochet in that stitch right there. We're still going to do that, but we're not going to finish the stitch. I'll get a little bit more closer, okay? So yarn over hook. Put it in that second double crochet there. Yarn of a hook, pull up a loop. Yarn of a hook, pull through two. And then yarn of a hook. And then you put it in the very next double crochet. Yarn of a hook, pull up a loop. Yarn of a hook, pull through two. You should have three loops on your hooks now. On your hook now, sorry. Yarn of a hook, pull through three loops. Okay? And you've actually turned these two stitches into one and there's your one V. Okay, so what we're going to do is double crochet all the way across. Okay, until we get to the second last stitch. Okay, and uh, don't forget lovely people to check out my Etsy and my madeit.com.au stores. They will have um, lots of things there for your perusal and check them out. Okay. Also, if you do like this tutorial, you can click like on that like button. And you can also subscribe to my channel and click that little bell button so you can receive further tutorials. Okay. All right, we are almost there. I had uh, 16 double crochets previously in that previous round. So if I've done my mathematics right, I should have 14 by the end. Okay, so these two are your last two stitches. There's your one and there's your other. So we've got one more to go. Okay. All right. So we'll show you that stitch again. Now, yarn of a hook. Pop your hook in that next double crochet. Yarn of a hook. Pull up a loop. Oops, I've split the double crochet. There might pop apologies there. Yarn of a hook. Pop it in that next double crochet. That's better. Yarn of a hook. Pull up a loop. Yarn of a hook. Pull through two. Then yarn of a hook. And pop it in that third chain from your previous row. Okay, the top of the third chain that is. And then yarn over hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over hook, pull through two. You should have your three loops. Yarn over hook, pull through all three loops on your hook. Now, if you counted your your stitches across, you would count that as one. And you're counting the V's. Okay, those little V's you see that V look. So you're counting one, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So I did do it correctly. Okay, so what we'll do, we're going to do another row. So you can have another look at it. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so we're chaining up three. One, two, three. Turn your work, whichever way you like. 
yarn of a hook. Now remember this, this stitch right here. See how we have double crocheted the two together? That's now the first stitch. Not this one, both of them actually, and now that first stitch. So you never put your first stitch in there. So we're going to put it in that one right there. So it's yarn of a hook, pop it in that next stitch, yarn of a hook, pull up a loop, yarn of a hook, pull through two, yarn of a hook, pop it in your next double crochet, yarn of a hook, pull up a loop, yarn of a hook, pull through two, you should have three on your hook, yarn of a hook, pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we are going to crochet all the way across, okay? So over the next couple of weeks, lovely people, I'm going to be doing uh, a few different kinds of tutorials and a few different things that I've always wanted to know and I never found out because nobody ever showed me. <laughs> so I thought that I would do the tutorials on the things that I've always wanted to know, assuming that there are other people out there who've always wanted to know the same things. Okay, And one of them is a chainless a chainless scarf so you were a chainless start to double crochet okay so that's a very interesting stitch and that will be um, one of my next couple of tutorials over the next week or so so here we are at the end of the row okay and we have one stitch there so that one v left and the chain stitch okay so yarn of a hook put it into your first double crochet yarn of a hook pull up a loop Yarn of a hook, pull through two. Yarn of a hook. Now we're going to pop it in that third chain, the top of the third chain of the last stitch, the previous row there. Then yarn of a hook, pull up a loop. Yarn of a hook, pull through two. And then yarn of a hook, pull through all three. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to count what we've done here. Now if we played our mats right again, we should have 12. Okay. So there's our first V right there. So that's one, two, Three, four, five, six, oops, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, terrific, yep. Yeah? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a row of double crochets across so you can see. Oh, no, we won't, we'll do another row. Okay, chain one, two, three. Turn, yarn of a hook, remember this, this is not classified as a stitch, okay, it's your next one that's classified as your first stitch. So yarn of a hook, put your hook in the first double crochet, yarn of a hook, pull up a loop, yarn of a hook, pull through two, yarn of a hook, pop it into your next double crochet, yarn of a hook, pull up a loop, and yarn of a hook, pull through two again and then yarn of a hook pull through all three okay and now we will do normal double crochets all the way across I hope that your crochet journey is going well I know that mine was very slow but eventually I got there and I'm here it's been doing I've been doing this for many years now and I did start when I was a very very young girl or a wee young lassie as some people say <laughs> okay so pop that there and we are now at the end of this row and this will be our final row and then we'll do a row of double crochets okay so yarn of a hook there's your next v right there that v stitch right there so you pop your hook in that v yarn of a hook pull up a loop yarn of a hook pull through two yarn of a hook Pop it into top of that third chain of the previous row. Yarn of a hook, pull up a loop. Yarn of a hook, pull through two. Yarn of a hook, pull through the last three. Okay, so we're going to chain one, two, and three. And we're just going to do double crochets all the way across. Remember this one? We don't touch that one at all. We always go into that next one. And now we're just doing double crochets. We're not decreasing. Oh, sorry about that. I just split the yarn there. We're just going to do double crochets all the way across so that we can see what our stitches look like or what our swatch looks like. Okay. So 
We're almost there, almost to the end. I feel like a success when I finish a tutorial. <laughs> okay, last one is that very chain right there. Okay, so top of the third chain of the previous row. And I shall bring it out so you can see. Whoops, not bring it forward, bring it out. Okay, so you can see it. Okay, see how it has closed up a little bit. Okay. Now you can use this stitch for many things. I know that when making, when I make vests, especially for my dad, I make vests for him. They're quite nice. Oh, I think they are. He may not. <laughs> they go up like that. And then when they close up to the top where the, the chest is, I close it up like that. And that's where the armholes will be. Okay. And that's where the chest will be up towards the neck. Okay. So that's what I would do when doing um, vests for my dad. I decrease that way. Okay, you can do it for anything. You could use them in beanies, you can use them in scarves, and oh, you name it, you can use it in cuff mittens. Oh, I don't know, I, I don't want to go through all of them, but it can be used for anything. Okay, so don't forget to click like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell button, don't forget to get more tutorials, and enjoy your crochet lovely people. Ciao for now.